A one-point game up in Cairns last night. Uh, disappointing for St Kilda. It was, uh, TJ. St Kilda, look at this. Four goals, 18, to Port Adelaide, five goals, 13. But, you know, Robbie Gray, he was important. He was classy. Look at that. Scores go level. Carl Amon drives it in. They did own the play late in this last quarter. They go a point up. Then St Kilda, they level the scores here. What do you think of that? That, 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 yeah, was a, that was a rush behind to, to make it even. Now, then St Kilda, well, I yeah. thought it was smart from Alir. Yeah. Yep, it, it was, Kane, and, and they... I love this passion for Kenny Inkley. You see there now they're a point up St Kilda. Rose, Rosie, oh, sorry, kicks that one. Yep. Butters. Butters, Butters. Yep. And then you see this late, out to Robbie Gray, and you touched on it last night, Kane. Oh, he knew it wasn't about kicking the goals, it was about just scoring. Yeah, it's so, so smart, mo isn't it? Yeah, it's just smart, because you could have centred that ball to the top of the goal. Yeah. He knew he just needed a point, and then the ball actually came out, and he got hit back in his hands, and he just pretended he was having a set shot to take his full 30. A just really smart IQ, but the misses you mentioned, Lord, they kicked one goal 15 St Kilda after the 85 minute mark of this game. So this is the worst game of football I've seen all year. You can see it there, first 30 minutes, 3-3, 21. And the last 85, one fifteen. So this is an issue, Lordo, and, and we're going to get some tips and analysis from you in a moment, and you also, Brownie. But this is has the potential to come back to bite them significantly. And King and Higgins, unfortunately, we're seeing it here, are, are serial offenders for the Saints. Well, it sparked my interest last night because I watched Christian Petrarca first yesterday and then I watched Max King last night. Let's have a look at his routine and spinning the ball in his hands as he's moving in. I don't know why he's doing it. He's getting in all sorts of different positions. And now have a look where the laces are facing out to the left. So he hasn't got it in the right spot because he's been spinning it. And the kick goes out where those laces are facing, straight there. So Max King needs to straighten up, needs to hold it. The same thing happened yesterday with Christian Petrarca. Now, Christian Petrarca is a wonderful player, as we know, but spinning the ball over and over as you're walking in. There's just margin for error every time you do this. He's a sublime midfield kick, Christian Matraka, but he's better than that, as we know. So he's pulled a left. Is the problem moving the ball, walking in? I think it is. OK, well, how about, right, uh, you've got the ball there. You've got one down there. Why don't you walk us through this? So uh, grab the balls, head over onto the floor in front of the plasma. So effectively, now, in all honesty, if, uh, if anyone's watching at the moment who's about to go out and play football, here's a free lesson for you as to uh, actually how to line up for goals. So, Nathan, tell so us what he was doing, and then Lordo might Lord, tell us what I'll he should be doing. I'll ask you a question, because... Max King's coming in all sorts, not even just pulling it back, he's going all over. The ball's moving everywhere as he's walking in. So you kick 926 goals, what should Max King be doing? So to Max's defence, I often want it, the ball's not perfectly shaped, so you want to actually hit the ball at the right spot. So when I was standing there, I'd often be doing that, just looking about what point of the ball I wanted to hit. But you're not moving. I'm not moving, I'm waiting. So once I got that part right, I walk in, everything has to be still. So I modelled my kicking on locket. And he was hunched over the ball. And all he had to do was just go there. There was no margin for error. I, I dropped the ball from higher, a higher point. But the moment I started walking in, that's how still I wanted to keep the ball. And all I was doing was limiting the errors. And all I had to do was go down from hand to foot. So the, I, players invent problems for themselves. So doing that, that's just inventing problems. Because then you're going to drop the ball at the wrong angle. And what, why is Max King doing it? Given your tutelage and, and the fact that he is an elite he might not even know he's doing it. Is it a nervous habit, perhaps? Uh, as I said, I don't know why he's not, because he wasn't even looking at the points of the ball. So he's doing that, and then suddenly Brownie's spot on. The angle of the ball was wrong, and he went exactly where he wanted to. And I think Christian Petrarca has never been a good set-shot goal. Mm. So for mm. as well as he's going, that's not going to help him either. So I think he's trying too many different things to try and sort out his... So, in summary, as you move in, keep the ball perfectly still... Yeah. Right, and make sure that the laces are facing in the middle of the goal. Limit all the margins for error. So, like, it's just, you've just got to limit it. And too many players invent problems for themselves. I remember Lance Franklin. He's running out that way, kicking that way. You look at the last few years of Lance Franklin, he's just limited all the margins for error and he's a much better kick for it. All right, good work, good fellas. And uh, as I said, great stuff for kids heading out to play football. Uh, there's something you can take with you in your kit bag.